gonna be spending a day with the Embera tribe of Panama. They normally were 50,000 and they migrated from Colombia. They stay in the rainforest and have maintained their own unique way of life all this while. And I'm going to spend a day with them to see what it's like to be a member of the Embera tribe. Um, as you can see, I'm going with the Kano. They don't have a, an express, so you cannot drive there. You can only go by boats. And uh, I'm a bit scared, but I'm in good hands by my uh, tour guide who's going to be helping me out. So let's go out and see what it's like. efforts to reduce the population of the indigenous tribe, the Embera people managed to survive. I decided to spend a day with the native Embera tribes of Panama and I learned so much about them on this day. Embera land, in the word Embera can be used to describe a person, man or indigenous person depending on the context in which it is used. So first things first is him delivering his catch of the day to the village member. You can see some bananas and fishes. On our way to the village, the tribesman dropped off his catch of the day and mentioned a sacred waterfall used by all of the community and told me he would like to share it with me. It was about a 15 minute boat ride which was not part of my original schedule and I said why not, I'm very excited to see something else. So we had to go on another boat ride to see the waterfall. National Geography series. Um, I'm alone in deep in a Panamanian forest in Central America with a member of the Embera tribe. No GPS, no network, and um, yeah, but I'm loving it. I can't complain. I'm loving the experience so far. I didn't. I wanted to skip the rainfall at first, but I have no regrets skipping. Uh, I have no regrets going to going there because the view is amazing and it was also a good workout as well. So I can't complain about that. So after the amazing view of the waterfall, I got to the village where I was welcomed with a dance and I had to dance because that's what's customs for tourists to do. I had a sit down with the head of the clan where I got to understand a lot about society and how it functions and one of the most remarkable interviews I've ever done in my career so far. Welcome to our community, Pararapuru. Uh, thank you very much. Nice to meet you. My name is Antonito Sarco. He is responsible and in charge of um, eight communities. Eh, bueno, nuestra comunidad se llama Paraná Puru. Paraná Puru, eh, Paraná es una palma y Puru es la comunidad. Our community uh, is Parara Puru. Parara means 
uh, Pal and Puro means community in mm. our language. We in community are 35 families and 120 uh, people, like uh, kids and also adults. Mm. Oh. And uh, how long has this community existed? ¿Y cuántos años esta comunidad existe? Eh, bueno, nosotros tenemos alrededor de 20 años aquí. And this place, 20 years. Got it. Okay. Pero nuestra familia llegaron en 1950. Uh, but our family came here in 50s, uh, here, in eh, the area. De Darien a este río llamado Río Chávez. From Darien province, to River Chagres. That's amazing. Y entonces, bueno, también dentro de la comunidad existe una escuela, una escuela de primero hasta sexto grado. Inside of a community, we also have a school. Eh, bueno, las maestras vienen de la ciudad, vienen de la ciudad y enseñan español, pero nosotros acá hablamos nuestro idioma, que es el emberal. Teacher comes from the city. Uh, but also we speak uh, here our language. What uh, is the language, sorry? What is the language called? Embera. Embera. Okay. Can you teach me some words? You can explain a few words. Bueno, Chapa. Chapa. Chapa is a brother. And they have a lot of people who come here this morning to visit our community. Y bueno, eh, aquí desde Sidata y aquí vinieron a ver a nosotros. Eh, la comunidad, ya ustedes eh, leyeron, Paraná es una palma. Paraná es una palma que nosotros utilizamos. Man Paraná, ¿no? Ahí utilizaba Tata Taite o Dicarea. También esa palma nosotros llamado Paraná utilizamos para hacer nuestra casa. Y bueno, mamá Taira y Dipunita Paraná Taira y de aquí desde Sidata. Palma Parara. Eh... We use here for a lot of things like to make from that type of palm and chapo mm -hmm. uh, is brother that I mentioned at the beginning. Okay, well, that's good. That's good to know. And how often do they get guests from Africa? Uh, usted tiene en comunidad la gente que viene de África como turistas. Sí. Yes. Sí han venido, sí, pero muy poco. Not too much. Muy poco. Not too much. Okay. Okay, okay, so let's check out the let's check out the community. Okay. The Embera people are renowned for their hospitality and I was offered an amazing lunch of the fresh feet caught earlier in the day alongside roasted plantain. Plantain is a familiar food eaten across uh, most of Africa and I couldn't wait to taste what the plantain tasted like. I mean, I mean plantain with a Caribbean twist, I'm oh, sorry, with a Latin American twist. And the kitchen, you can see woods and stoves of the food being cooked. No, porque usted menciona que no se puede entrar en este parte. Ah, okay. Okay. After the amazing lunch of the first lady of the clan, I was treated to various native dances of the Embera people. They even invited me to take some steps after being impressed with my initial dance when they welcomed me. And boy was I impressed with the various types of dance they had and the way they moved their bodies to the rhythm and the men beating the drums. The Wagamaya dance. Ok, 
Okay, Dance of the Star, let's go. ¿En qué momento se, en qué momento se baila This is the souvenir I bought, and it's this bowl of an eagle. No, or a hen, yeah. It's very nice. It's going to go into my collections. The Embarra people are very welcoming, self-sufficient, and take great responsibility for well-being of the planet. They are also very well entertaining, that I must say. Despite choosing to maintain their way of life, the Embarra people value education as a community. I took a stroll around the community until we reached the school constructed by the village to educate their children, as well as a football field where the different communities play sports. The school, even though not as equipped as the one situated in the cities, plays a crucial role in churning out an educated generation. The community leader mentioned about the government providing better healthcare opportunities to the people to ensure the villagers stay in the village, which officially marked the end of my stay in this village. The Embera people, I must say, are amazing, they're hardworking, they enjoy their way of life, and they're non apologetic about it, which I think is something we can all learn from them. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so I can make more videos like this. Thanks. And that marks the end of my time with the Embera tribe. I've had an amazing time playing about them. I had the best Panamanian food with the Embera tribe. It was fresh fish and fresh plantain. Tasted amazing. This is a must visit place and I hope you guys visit sometime soon. Thanks.